The 15 Russians died uh, when one of their naval patrol uh, aircraft uh, was shot down. It seems they were shot down by Syrian air defences, S-200 um, surface-to-air missiles, which are Soviet-era, 1960s-era uh, um, air defences that, that, are, that are run by the, the, the Syrian military. Uh, they seem to have been fired uh, in response to an attack by Israeli forces. F-16 fighters is, is one of the, uh, the, the weapons that was used, perhaps missiles being fired at targets around Latakia, uh, which is one of the strongholds, of course, of the, of the Syrian government. Um, and those air defences were brought into action and they inadvertently shot down, it seems. Uh, this this Russian naval patrol aircraft. The Russians uh, have been uh, quite critical of Israel, saying that uh, because of Israel's careless actions, 15 Russian military servicemen died. Uh, and so um, the, the Russians have you know, put the blame squarely on, on the Israelis. Well, this is the S-400 uh, missile system, perhaps the most controversial weapon uh, on this Latakia airbase. It was deployed by Russia after the shootdown of a Russian warplane in November this year by Turkey, with Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, vowing that any further challenge to Russian aircraft would be met with strength. This is the response. Um, it, it's controversial because it means that Latakia is not just a base from which airstrikes can be launched. It's also, through this weapon, uh, has the ability to watch and police, if necessary, the airspace over the entire region, not just Syria, but also Cyprus, uh, Turkey to the north as well, southern parts of it, and even northern Israel, four under this missile system's range. First off, Syria and Iran. These two countries have been allies going back 40 years. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has relied on Iran's military and financial support to survive the last seven years of civil war. But when Vladimir Putin sent the Russian Air Force to back up the Syrian-Iranian war effort, the Assad regime turned the tables on the Syrian opposition. Assad is now all but certain to win the Syrian civil war, but in the process, the Iranians have strengthened their military presence on the ground to prop up the Syrian government. And that's anathema to Israel and its Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, which is why Israel says it's been escalating its involvement in Syria's war with airstrikes against Iranian and Hezbollah targets in Syria.
Israel will protect its red lines in Syria, which means that they will not allow um, any transfer of advanced weaponry from Iran through Syria to Hezbollah. So it appears that the target um, uh, overnight was a high-level target from the Israeli perspective, and that's why it's been bombed. Семнадцатого сентября около двадцати двух часов четыре в шестнадцать военно-воздушных сил Израиля нанесли удар управляемый авиационными бомбами по сирийским объектам в районе города Алтаки. Now, the incident happened at around 11 o'clock last night local time. The Russian military vehicle was some 35 kilometers away from the Syrian coast. It was returning to the Russian airbase at Hamamin near the Syrian city of Latakia. Now, at the time, four Israeli jets were firing at Syrian facilities in the area.
гибнут люди. When people are dying, especially in such circumstances, it's always a tragedy. It's a tragedy for all of us, for the country, and for the relatives of our killed comrades. I extend my condolences to the relatives of those killed. This situation is different from the one when a Turkish jet shot down our plane. Back then, Turkey intentionally shot down the aircraft, but now it looks like a chain of accidental events. Our position on this incident was presented in a Ministry of Defence statement, which was fully coordinated with me. About our response. First, we will use all our forces to provide even more security for the Russian military in Syria, and this will cover all other measures.